Hello, today I'm going to do a tutorial as to how to get the best sound out of Zoom. Uh, the first thing you need to be aware is that it's um, you have to be using a Windows or Mac computer because tablets and phones um, don't get the options to do high quality sound. And um, it's also fairly important to use some kind of headphones. I mean, these are these are the in-ear ones that I use, but I'm sure lots of people have, most people have some sort of headphones they use with their, for their music. Um, they don't need to be wonderful headphones, but it, the fact that you're using them, you can turn off echo cancellation and that improves the sound as well as the other steps. So, um, if you don't already have Zoom, you can download, uh, there's a link in the description below this video and that link will will um, install it from scratch, or it will update the current the whatever you have to the current version. So, assuming you have it all on your computer, and you're now ready to go down the bottom left hand corner of your Zoom meeting, and there is a, a mute unmute button with a sort of microphone symbol on it, and right next to that is a little up arrow. You want to click the up arrow. And a menu appears and the bottom of that menu is audio settings and that's the one we want and that's what comes up so in the left hand list if you want to check what version you've got you just click on statistics and it will show you here I've got 5.4.9 that's today's latest one on the 27th of January 21 but we go with audio settings here um, automatically adjust microphone volume that would have been ticked I've actually unticked it um, you want that unticked because otherwise when you go it, it'll go the, the volume will go up and down with with the music and you don't want that happening you want it to, it to stay at the right level so that um, and you can keep this slider up full in almost all cases up full will work best because when you do all these enabling it tends to lower the volume a little bit um, but if people say oh look you're distorting you could come back and just drop that a little bit until it's right now then suppress background noise is currently set to auto that's the default and you want it to set to low um, Zoom came in at around about 2012 and in those days most laptops had much noisier fans and much noisier hard drives and so you needed to um, suppress a lot of that noise most people were using laptops then but um, in most cases low will do but if people say that they can hear no fan noises you may have to go to medium but the less you have the better the sound will be and I'm just going to scroll this down a little bit the other the most main one is this option here music and professional audio and this is fairly new in zoom older version so you may not have it if you're using an older version and show in meeting option to turn on original sound that sounds a bit of a mouthful but you tick it anyway and then these three options now appear high fidelity music mode because before you tick that it's limiting the frequencies to to just sort of what speech uses and stereo audio for most cases you want that because if you've got stereo sound um, then it comes out in stereo uh, a few people who've got audio interfaces where things like the focus right ones um, you find that the microphone only comes out of one channel and if you undo stereo audio then it will come out of both channels so that's a suck it and see you maybe but I use stereo because I've got a stereo system attached to mine um, and I like my music to come in stereo 
Echo cancellation. Now that is to do with is the thing I was saying about headphones. If you're using headphones, you do not need to tick that. If you're not using headphones, you do need to tick it. So I'm not ticking it, but you may have to. If you want to read more, these little um, question marks, you can, you can tick on, click on those. However, in this video, if I click on it, although I will see what it says, um, it won't show in the video. I can't do anything about that. Um, if I screw, scroll down one more, I also do this one, mute my microphone when joining a meeting. I just think it's polite so that if you're kind of making noises, getting yourself ready and getting things ready, you don't um, disturb the other people in the meeting and, and enable it as soon as you actually want to talk and participate. There's also advanced here. We click that and signal processing by Windows audio device drivers is best turned off because um, that again is, is an opportunity for Windows to interfere with the sound. And echo cancellation should also is, is better than aggressive. Aggressive again will, will cut into the sound a bit. However, having done those things, that should be, um, that's most of what we have to do. We can now get rid of this setting screen. And now at the top left corner, if you put your mouse up to the top left corner, this should appear as I've shown you here, the turn on original sound. And when you click it, it will change to this, this blue thing. And that's how you want it. It might sound odd. Turn off original sound means that original sound is on. But the other thing you need to do is the little down arrow to the right and then put a tick against whichever you use your microphone. I mean, in my case, it's a, I'm using an interface called Studio 68C. So it's the mic line and I'm using inputs three and four. I mean, you don't need to worry about what I'm using, but that's because I've got a recording studio set up. But um, it might be the internal microphone. It might say Realtek mic. It might say same as system, but you you may have to just choose, which, go, go through those um, to see which. And if you're not sure, um, you can go back to that up arrow at the bottom left corner and that will show you which mic you're using um, and make this one the same and that is it that will give you much much better sound than standard if you don't make those changes that I've shown you and uh, so the other thing I just mentioned is that the down in the bottom I put um, a link to OBS. That is the the software I've used on the video side of things to pop these pictures up, etc., and put myself on the right. And um, it just may interest you to be able to, uh, um, you know, to be able to use the same sort of software for other things. There's plenty of um, tutorials on YouTube of how to use it. So I'm not going to try and explain how to use it here. And uh, yeah, so that's basically it. I mean, I can show you quickly that I can... Um, there you see, you can see more of my thing and I can change the size and move it around and all sorts of fancy things that can be done with this um, with OBS but you don't need to worry about it anyway thank you I hope this has been a helpful thing for you and uh, enjoy the Winterfest people and um, yeah see you later